staff says she went to her manager. Hey, I'm throwing up. She was, I don't care. Get back on the line. Elizabeth Taft says these images show the aftermath of what was a very... I was going back and forth to the bathroom and puking my guts out. Very... I was sweating. I was drenching in sweat. I felt weak. Bad day at work. She says things got worse and she headed outside where an employee of a restaurant next door came to her aid, called for an ambulance, took these pictures and posted them to Facebook with the caption, if you plan on eating Freeport Subway today, I advise you not to. Why didn't you leave work? Because if I knew if I left work, I'd have lost my job. I was drinking my water and I, I, I was taking my Mucinex. I mean, the whole nine yards just to like patch myself up enough to go to work. Eventually, she called out sick twice, opening her up to being fired because of UH's no fault attendance policy. The hospital tells us notes from a physician do not excuse an occurrence of absence. The first decision that you make when you wake up is, am I safe enough to report to duty today? Teresa says the irony in her firing is this post on the University Hospital Facebook page telling visitors to stay home if they're sick. This is an issue that impacts every single person in the country because, frankly, everyone gets sick. I'm a nurse, so I know the failure to allow workers to earn paid sick days isn't just harmful for families and individuals, it's harmful to all of us. Access to paid sick days has a direct impact on public health. 